it's me again. I just thought I'd do a little update, what's been going on, what's happening this week. This week, uh, I was in Monday, I was in Tuesday. We have set up our clinics now. So we have two practices. Our one practice is the hot site for anyone that suspected COVID or COVID positive. So the hot site is for those patients. And then we have a cold site, which is for anyone that isn't suspected, they haven't got any symptoms, no sort of risk that they might have COVID. Well, as, as, as far as we know anyway. Um, so we've got two different sites now and we're all sort of rotating and we're rotated on to do each site as and when. So it's been very strange is not anything that we're all used to. So it's getting used to a new sort of way of working and doing things differently and, um, sort of the infection control measures that are all being put in place. So we've all got to, I mean, we shouldn't travel in our uniform anyway. But um, we have to take a spare set of clothes now so that we're getting changed when we're at work and make sure that we're not taking our uniform homes and then infecting people on the way, if that makes sense. And the uniform goes straight in the wash on 60 plus degrees. So there's loads of stuff being put in place at the minute just to keep ourselves, our families, our patients, everybody safe. And it's all just, yeah, it's all very strange. That's all I like. It's all I can say. Very strange. Very weird. But do you know what? I think everyone's doing amazing. Everyone in my clinic, everyone like at the top the management, the CCGs, everyone's doing fantastic. I keep saying this, but we really are doing the best out of this really rubbish situation that we're in. And I'm just proud of us all, to be honest, right now. Anyway, so as I've said before in a previous vlog, our managers are really good at looking after us. Well, they want to look after us because they need nurses in the future. So they have told us we're going to have these rest days in between periods to make sure that we're OK to you reduce our risk of contracting COVID-19, things like that. So I've been given the rest of the week I know. I mean, it's Easter anyway, so I wouldn't have been working tomorrow anyway. Um, but our clinic is actually going to be open for patients if needed over the Easter weekend, which is a first for us. But I've been very fortunate that they give me some days off this week. And there's other staff as well that have been given days off. And that's just to help us out, basically and reduce our risk, like I said. So everything's been put in place to do the right things, I think. And yeah, so I've got, I'm off now until Tuesday. I worked Monday, Tuesday, and then I'm off until next Tuesday. So I'm a little bit happy, to be honest. I desperately, desperately needed this. I really, really did. I, and I don't think anyone at work knew that I really needed this because I haven't told anyone that I need some time off. <laughs> and obviously I am there for the patients. The patients are my priority. But I haven't been sleeping very well. I've been feeling a bit anxious about everything. So yeah, I really need this time to rest, recharge, ground myself, get myself okay again so that I'm the be my best self for my patients. So yeah, I'm I'm chuffed that I've got this time off right now. I've got some gardening to do. Um, I've shared on my Instagram, if you're on my Instagram, that I've been trying resin, which is where you mix some chemical sort of ingredients to make things from. And it hasn't gone very well. <laughs> I've discovered I'm not very good at it right now, but I know how to do it. I just need to work out some little things. So like these little like pendants that I've made. I mean, they're no good. I'm not going to give them to anyone. Look how rubbish that is. And this, I put some grass in and I put a dandelion and it was just a bit too dark. You can't actually see the dandelions. Um, so yeah, I did that. But you know, I can put the mixture together. I can put it at the right ratio and it's come out all right. It's yeah, it just needs adapting and adjusting. So I'm going to work out that over this week. I've also been doing some rock painting because I love rock painting. It's my new favourite hobby. And I took this image from something that was shared on social media. I've got no idea who created this image, but it's amazing. And so I thought I'm going to do this on a little rock. And this is it. I mean, that's not amazing. It's all right, but <laughs> I tried. I just put, Thank you, key workers. It's amazing. I'm going to put it out in the garden, but I'm going to, um, I need to seal it first. It's not sealed yet. I need to seal it, gloss it, waterproof it. I've got a really good, um, sort of safe for the environment type of varnish that goes on it. So it's really, really good. Um, but when that's finished, I'll put it in my garden. 
And apart from that, I haven't really done much else. Uh, oh, I have, sorry. I wrote a blog for my uni with, who shared it and there was a couple of people interested in it who have now taken the blog and done things with it. And I had an interview this morning with Capital FM. What? <laughs> Yeah, I had an interview this morning with Capital FM for the West Midlands region because obviously that's where I've come from. That's where I did my uni course. Um, so I did a little interview about how it's been feeling in a pandemic as a newly qualified nurse. Um, we, we spoke about PPE. Have we got enough? Probably not. Short answer to that. <laughs> um, and just how we've been managing infection control and our ways of working as well as a GP practice. Because I think a lot of people have been speaking to hospitals and wards, but nobody really thinks about community nurses or primary care nurses. So yeah, so that, that was really, really good. It was a lovely, lovely, lovely interview. I, I think it's going out over the Easter weekend. It was sort of like a pre-recorded thing. Um, so that was really nice. And yeah, I was nerve, it was nerve wracking because I've never done anything like that, like for a radio station, like what? <laughs> never done anything like that. So that was really, really strange. But it was nice and I, I hope that whatever I share helps people out there and helps people understand the seriousness of it. But not only that, shows how much everyone's struggling, like not only just physically, we're all drained mentally as well. So it's really important to share that stuff. And yeah, it's, it's not always about the positives, which I did speak about the positives because I am a positive person. Come on. Um, so I did share the positives and the kindness that's going on and COVID compassion that I've been speaking about. It was really nice to talk about that as well. And yeah, just being really grateful for that. Also, I'm going to excuse this hair. Look, <laughs> I'm so jealous of people get, that get these perfect buns on their head. Mine are never perfect. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, um, yeah, sorry about that. That's all I've really got to say um, right now at the minute about everything. I just wanted to do a little update. Um, everyone's keeping safe, ho hope. Everyone's keeping well. Um, just, oh, I'm so sick of banging on about the stay at home thing. Let's not say that. <laughs> it's too late, I've done it. Um, but I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And it, it is a crap, crap time right now. That's it, I've said it. I've said the word crap. Oh my God, it's awful. Um, but this isn't going to go on forever. This is what people need to remember. It's not going to go on forever. It's only going to be for the next so many months or weeks. In my head, I've got it as mums. We won't be in lockdown for mums and mums and mums on end. Like, we will see Christmas, guys. We will be able to see our families at Christmas, I think. But we'll see. You never know. But as, as long as people stay safe and stay sensible, we'll be able to see our families at Christmas. So, yes. Let that be a message to people. Just think of it like that. Think of it as, do you know what? This isn't forever. This is only temporary. It's just a, a new way of working, a new way of doing things, a new, a new change in behaviour, which is really hard to do. But it's not forever. It's only temporary and it's, it's going to pass, guys. And I know it is crap. It's rubbish. It's horrible focusing on death rates every day on the telly, on the news, on social media. It's everywhere. Um, but we need to try and think about the positives and this isn't me pushing to, pushing aside those deaths because it is horrific that anyone has died and suffered in this but if we start if we keep focusing on that it's going to bring us all down and it's not good for our own mental health so please just try and switch off stop reading things on social media stop reading the news so much stop listening to your friends on what they said he shared the hamsters got it whatever they're saying just stop listening to it look after yourselves look after your own well-being it's really, really important that you do that right now stay fit stay healthy and not only that but i know that, that i know it's again it's horrible that there's, there's this really high death toll at the minute but actually looking at the statistics nobody celebrates that actually 90 percent of people are living 90% of people are surviving this every single day and nobody shares those statistics and it's about I think rethinking this and looking at it from a different angle just to support your own mental health or we're all just going to be so scared that we'll stop and do you know what it, we can't do that it's not good for anybody and it's really important that we keep going we stay motivated keep on top of things and we look at things from a different angle, I think, just to really help and support that. And I'm sorry if I offend anyone by saying that. I don't mean to offend anybody or put anyone down or anything like that. I'm really sorry. 
but that's the way I'm trying to see it to keep myself going and it might help you if you look at the stats but then you think okay but how many people survived let's have a look but anyway enough of that if you want me to talk about anything if you want me to go through anything if you want me to do any more different kinds of vlogs if you want me to do anything in particular someone's mentioned fluid, ba fluid balance charts which I'm gonna try and dig out of the attic I know I've put all of my folders and my uni stuff in the attic but I have got some fluid balance charts and things like that to go over so maybe I'll do a vlog on doing that sort of a thing or if I find one online actually I could just find one online to go through a fluid balance with you all maybe I do more something on clinical skills or something communication I don't know whatever you want to learn whatever one you want to know anything I can help you with please let me know comment below inbox me whatever you want to do however you want to contact me let me know and I will absolutely try my best to do some more vlogs on different types of things that you might be struggling with or you need help with I can absolutely do that for you but yes, everybody, I hope you're okay. However you're feeling about this, it's absolutely normal to feel however you're feeling and get support if you need it and make sure you you don't feel too lonely and isolated as such. I hope you're all okay. Keep smiling. We will get through this. You've got this. So today is Wednesday, the 14th of April, I think. 15th? I have no idea what day it is anymore. It's Wednesday. <laughs> I just thought I would update you what's going on this week. So I was back at work yesterday and we had our like weekly meeting as well on Monday. We had um, a big Zoom call, which was really nice because it's nice to see everyone and see how everyone's feeling and see everyone's faces. And it was quite nice, I think. Quite nice that management are sort of keeping us in the loop with everything. So this week we have been told that we will be doing the home visits. I've talked about this before in previous vlogs, but now it is we will be doing home visits to the shielded patients. So these are patients that are maybe immunosuppressed that can't get to the GP. These are people that have to self-isolate for 12 weeks as advised by the government because of their long-term condition and any sort of immunosuppressants or anything like that they might have. We've got to see those patients at home now which we sort of knew was coming anyway, but if it's like, it's sort of, I feel like it's slowly weaving us into it at the minute. So they've advised that we get business insurance for our cars to do the home visits, which I sorted out yesterday. So that's done. It's ready. It's put in place. I'm quite hot on these sort of things. So I've done that and I think it was only like £13 anyway to change over to business insurance. So it wasn't bad at all. Our management have said they will reimburse us, but it's 13 quid. So we've got that in place and I'm not 100% sure when these home visits are going to start happening but I assume maybe next week they'll probably start happening but we are sort of just getting ready and getting prepared to do those home visits now so yeah so it's all go it's all change every day is a new day I go in thinking what's going to change today because there's constant changes but at the minute it's okay my patients yesterday were all amazing they're all okay they're safe they haven't got symptoms and yesterday Today, those patients were just coming in for the urgent blood tests so these will be blood tests that they need to check their renal function is functioning because of a certain medication they're on if not they could end up in um, acute kidney injury or um, chronic kidney disease or kidney failure anything that, that like that sort of thing they need monitoring people's INRs need monitoring for their warfarin because they need to get the dose right because they're at risk of a heart attack um, blood clots all of that so these are the urgent blood tests that we're doing right now and then we've got wound management so anyone that cannot physically do their wounds at home themselves or they haven't got family that can do it for them at home to save them coming in they are still coming into our clinic and we are doing that for them because they're obviously at massive risk of sepsis so we need to really manage that to make sure that they're safe not just from covid but there are other diseases still happening the world doesn't stop just because we've got an added disease now or virus now however you want to call it we still need to see the patients and manage the patients to make sure that they're not going to die of anything else so yeah so we are still doing that everyone my team's doing amazing they're absolutely fantastic. The everyone's really pulling together. It's just so nice to see how 
how people can work together and help each other out and no one's sort of complaining about anything no one's having a go at anyone obviously we're all anxious we're all worried we're worried about our patients we're worried about ourselves if we come into contact with it of course but our main concern is patients and everyone's concern is we need to make sure our patients are safe and that's that seems like a regular theme across the board and it's quite nice it's quite nice that nurses are thinking like that but also we do need to protect ourselves and make sure we've got the right PPE and things like that which we do still have PPE at the minute hopefully we will still have PPE at the end and we won't run out but the way things are going and just from hearing off other people and hospitals and things like that who don't have enough PPE it might get to the point where we might run out but when that time comes then we'll have to face it and deal with it at the time but for now we're okay we're safe and the patients are happy so I'm happy with that also this week, as you know, I've had a few days off. So I've been sorting out the garden because the garden's a mess. I've dug out, not dug out, but I've tossed all the um, soil out the front because it's really hard and really dry. So I've been watering it down every day, turning it, um, making sure that it's well prepared and ready to plant some seeds, to get some flowers growing because the idea behind it, I wanted something nice to come out of this COVID crisis. So when I look at them, I'm thinking, do you know what? That's really nice. I planted those during the COVID pandemic. And these are beautiful. There's something beautiful coming from this. So yeah, I've planted some flowers. I've painted my wall. So I've painted the, the beautiful rainbow that's been spread across social media at the minute. People are putting the pictures in the windows. I painted some bricks and I'm going to show you that now. day I come out the front door to go to work I see that rainbow I come home at the end of my day I see that rainbow and I give a little smile because it's just nice it brightens the garden up and it makes me cheery so yeah I'm happy with that yeah so that's it everybody that's it for now I'll keep doing some little updates and update you how we're going as we go also welfare check is everybody okay do you need any help are you struggling with anything let me know I can help you out please let me know and yeah, I, if, if I can't help you, I'll try and point you in a direction of someone or something that can help you. But let me know. My inbox is always, always open. Please don't think you're ever a bother. I hope everyone's okay. Keep being amazing and I shall see you next time.